guys, it's Lita. So I finally got caught up on Game of Thrones last night. I was a couple of weeks behind for a while on the newest season. I just wanted to discuss a couple of things about the series. So first off, I wanted to discuss house sigils and mottos, because I think that some of the mottos are kind of not very accurate. So we'll start out with the Lannisters. House Lannister, fuck your sister, get money. That's basically all that that family does. House Greyjoy. Water? Because I can't really think of anything that's super significant about them. But the squid's cute. House Baratheon. Shadows in me puss. Yep, and uh, that should make sense if you've seen the series. Just a reminder, Melisandre, that really hot red-headed chick, a shadow came out of her twat. It crawled out of there. So that's what that means. How stark. Big fucking wolves. Because those wolves are fucking big. And at last, my favorite one. How Targaryen. Yeah, but I have dragons. Speaking of Daenerys Targaryen, I think she's going to be the one that comes out on top in the end. Part of it, I think, is because everybody she comes across is way too busy thinking about screwing her that she screws them first. In Sylvia the Russia, Khaleesi fucks you! Also, in the beginning of her storyline, she basically took a mammoth to bed. That being Khal Drogo. Have you seen the size of that guy? He is massive. And also considering there was that one scene where he kind of... went in through the back door, I have no idea how she was able to even remotely comfortably sit for a month. Joffrey Lannister. He is probably one of the single worst characters in all of the history of characters in any series, any movie, anything. In all honesty, I'm sure that a carrot could waltz into King's Landing and slay Joffrey and seize the throne for itself, and the kingdom would be much better off with the carrot as king. Like, I swear, if I ever saw Joffrey in person, I would just be like, hold, hold, hold my weave. Hold. Hold it. Hold my weave. And I would just beat the shit I, I literally just ripped this out of my head. One storyline that I really, really love is Theon Greyjoy's. My favorite thing about his storyline is that every time I see him, he's getting tortured in some way. I really can't stand it. Now, Jon Snow knows nothing. As for Arya Stark, I feel like she's one of the most badass characters in the entire series. I feel like when she was born, she came out of the womb holding a three-handed weapon. People don't have three hands, usually, and Jaime Lannister just doesn't really come in handy much. Andy. I made a funny. Now, Melisandre, also being one of my favorite characters in the series, um, she, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with her. That being, um, she's so freaking gorgeous, like, smoking hot. But she has some really strange sexual preferences that kind of tip the scale from me really liking her to being like, what? Like, I'm sure if Melisandre went on Match.com and made a profile, her intro would be like, we'll have intercourse pretty much anywhere gives birth to some things that shouldn't really be humanly possible to give birth to, and also has tendency to use sexual partner as sacrifice. Oops. Hit me up. And Cersei Lannister, who is just a royal bitch, literally, I feel like she is basically the Regina George of Game of Thrones. She gets her way, but she screws everybody over. It's like how when you're watching Mean Girls, you respect Regina George, but at the same time, you really hate her. But all in all, I can say that my favorite character in the entire series is probably Daenerys Targaryen. She's just so cool. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this discussion about Game of Thrones. Um, I may maybe I'll do more once I see more of the series. Depending on what happens from this point forward, I think that there's going to be some pretty interesting stuff happening considering 
some really crazy stuff happened in these last couple episodes. All right, I love you guys, and I will see you again soon. And also, I will see some of you at um, Vlogger Fair this weekend in Seattle. So that'll be fun. All right, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.